hello guys uh, today i will show you um, how we can log in our server uh, using putty uh, for this tutorial i am uh, putty because uh, i am using uh, um, windows so let's say first up, uh, create our server in oracle cloud free tier so uh, this is my account and then from here uh, so you can create a vm instance so click here and then uh, give a name so i can call it uh, fast server so and then uh, i keep the placement uh, sections default which is available to domain edit 2 in the next sections which is most important sections uh, sections so which is image and shape click here and then i change the uh, image uh, currently it's uh, oracle linux 7.9 i change it to um, let's see i change it to uh, oracle uh, linux 8 versions and then select image and then uh, in shape sections uh, I change click change the shapes and then I am uh, choosing arm based processor so I choose this one and click this uh, arm based processor and then click VM standard and uh, I am uh, choose uh, 4 CPU and 24 GB memory okay so memory RAM so click shape select shape and then you can see our virtual machines is a four core cpu and then 24 gb memory and 4 gbps network bandwidth this basically this is basically 24 gb ram so so in this sections you can uh, change it to uh, keep it to uh, this default and or, or you can choose uh, create a new virtual cloud and then uh, this is uh, uh, how we can uh, add a uh, in this add SSH keys, we can uh, uh, choose multiple options. Here is we can uh, save private key and public key, and then use with them. And then we can also create uh, our uh, private key with Putigen. So in this tutorial, I will show. Uh, I am showing you how we can uh, generate a uh, private key and then use them. So to do this, we need to uh, go to Putty gen so sorry putty gen so click in here or oh, you click generate and then i move the cursor here to generate the key gen so it's generated and then i select all of the block of text key from here and then uh, copy and i also save the private key in safe place i am keep it in the desktop i say give it a name in private you can also save the public key from here so i um, cancel this and then paste the pri um, private key in this here so right click and paste it in the boot volume sections you can uh, specify your custom boot volume by default uh, in um, per instance it's uh, uh, 50 gb i mean 46.6 gb you can specify the custom board volume uh, m storage here so but in this tutorial i'll keep it default and then create so our server is uh, provisioning so it take little bit time to fully running so we need to keep patience Okay, it's provisioning now so uh, we can see our public IP address it's visible which is this uh, one and our username is OPC so first of all we need to go to we need to go putty so open the putty and putty app and then uh, you need to go ssh 
to authentications. So, I browse the uh, I generate and uh, save and this is the private key. I okay, I configured it and then go to sessions and then uh, we need to uh, assign our uh, username and IP. So, copy this one so, and then in here we need to uh, username it OPC and then at the rate and paste our IP address port default 22 it's okay and then here you can give a name you can call it anything as your uh, so name something or oh, so, uh, so and then uh, you can save it and so uh, and then uh, open okay so accept so let's see okay so we are logged in so uh, next uh, our first uh, work is uh, access to our super user so to do this you need to sudo and then dash i and we are in super user so that's it for the tutorial uh, in in the next tutorial you can uh, i'll show you how we can uh, uh, how we can uh, create our server in Oracle Free, free Cloud and uh, install WordPress and AppNL. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you.